everybody. Welcome to Surviving Science Class. Today we're going to talk about the kingdom Archaebacteria. The kingdom Archaebacteria is the only kingdom found in the domain Archaea. If you haven't watched the kingdom Eubacteria video yet, you might want to go do that because I'm going to tell you a little bit of the ways that Archaebacteria are similar to Eubacteria. Both Archaebacteria and Eubacteria are unicellular prokaryotes. Remember, prokaryote cells do not have a nucleus and they do not have organelles. Both reproduce through a process called binary fission, which is where one cell divides into two cells. They both have a cell that is full of cytoplasm with ribosomes and DNA just kind of hanging out in the center. The cell is surrounded by a cell membrane and a cell wall. The big difference here is that the archaebacteria cell walls are not made of peptidoglycan. Some archaebacteria are heterotrophs, meaning they get food from an outside source. Most archaebacteria are autotrophs, meaning they make their own food either through photosynthesis from the sun or through a process called chemosynthesis from the chemicals in the environment around them. We call archaebacteria extremophiles because they live in places other things can't, places that are very similar to how scientists believe ancient Earth was. Uh, super hot places, super salty places, super acidic places. They're the only things that can survive in these places. We can remember their location based on the prefix archaea, which means ancient. So they live in places that are similar to ancient Earth. And they're also some of the oldest uh, organisms on Earth, and they've been around the longest. Scientists classify archaebacteria based on the environments that they live in. For example, thermophiles comes from the Greek for loving heat. And these archaebacteria are found in like the hot springs in Yellowstone National Park, in deep sea thermal vents, and have been known to thrive in places that the temperatures get greater than 100 degrees Celsius. Acidophiles comes from the Greek for loving acidic conditions. Uh, they are found in places where the pH ranges from zero to two, such as sulfur pools or in your stomach to help you break down food. Halophiles are salt-loving critters. They live in extremely salty environments like um, the Dead Sea or the Great Salt Lake, places where other things would dry out because there's so much salt. Some archaebacteria are called methanogens because they produce methane gas. These live in the stomachs of cows and are responsible for the methane that the cows produce. Since many archaebacteria live in these extreme environments, some of them are able to survive without oxygen. Archaebacteria that don't need oxygen are called anaerobic because they're able to break down their food without oxygen. The archaebacteria that need oxygen to break down their food are called aerobic. We can remember that they need oxygen because aerobic exercise causes us to breathe more and use more oxygen. So that's a quick and simple breakdown of the kingdom Archaebacteria. Thanks for joining me on Surviving Science Class, and I hope you learned something that will help you keep going and keep growing.